Bodie out, I believe. God bless Joe Bodie, man. That's my big homeboy, man. I've been around him for years. Big, big Ben. That's Big, Big Ben. That's a recipe, Big, Big Ben. <laughs> Shit, you know what I'm saying? A little prep out? Yeah. A little prep out, thank you, God, man. A little prep should have never been in doing all he did. He did way too much time for this shit. He was catch another case while he was in there, like catch a package case. I, I don't know, I don't know, but I know the case he was in there for, bro, was uh, no good, man. I forget, you know, I think I was around a little homeboy that had actually told on him, too, man, about that, man. Ooh. Well, you know, one of the little homeboys, bro, had told, okay, so he was, he, he caught a third strike over a camcorder. Still that wasn't ill will, was it? Nah, nah, it wasn't ill will, man. It was a uh, little homeboy from the APTs, man. I don't want to say his name on here because I don't, I don't know. Uh, but uh, it was a little homie from the APTs, man, I believe, had went to court on him and shit and and uh, relations to one of the other big homies, man. It was just like a terrible situation, man. He got he got three strikes, man, and did over did, did, did they go to board this year, though? Who? Who? Who, PD? Who go to board this year? No. Nope. Oh, he's talking about, okay, so he's talking about Joe Bodie. Oh, Bo Bodie, Bodie still in? Yeah, Bodie's still in, bro. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? 93? Yeah, he talking about Bodie, homie. Bodie still, yeah, Bodie been in there since 1990, uh, I want to say 93. No, 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 no. That can't be. I was out with him in 94. I was, no, excuse me, hold on. I was out with him in 95, bro. So I want to say he caught his case either in 95 or 96. When I first get released out of CYA in 95, I was hanging with Bodie. And I was, yeah, I was fresh out from doing a little three years. But, yeah, Bodie was, yeah, see, yeah, 90, it was like four or five. It was five. I believe it was five. I mean, I believe it was five. Because I was fucking with Bodie in 90. I was fucking with Bodie in 95. Well, I got out December 95, homie, so I think it was probably like 96, to be honest. I got out 96. I got out, two, I got out December 1995. And uh, Bodie, I used to pull, Bodie used to pull up on me. Now, see, I see, you know what's crazy? Like, we talk about alpha males, right? I used to be with, I used to be, <laughs> I can't say, I ain't going to blow the homeboy up on here on me, but one of the Gribble homies, and you all know the Gribble niggas back in 1990s and up to 90, you know, whatever, was brazy. And uh, I thought this nigga was an alpha male like a motherfucker, man. Then one day I seen Bodie. And Bodie pushed the line on him and was like, damn, okay. He, you know, he's an alpha male with these people. But then with these people, he's not an alpha male. If you get with my drift. No, no, you, you there's a there's a determination. <laughs> there's a determination yeah. of alpha males, uh. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like with these other people, he wasn't an alpha male, I man. No. And it and blew my cool. mind at the time, to be honest. No, you, Joe Bodie, hey, listen, Young Holly, Joe Bodie was one of the reasons why I started smoking Shiner. Oh. Because I, I listen, okay, so listen, listen. Now, this might sound crazy, but I, mean, I know we on live, I mean, but I'm telling some real shit. I would, I would, I would actually investigate drug use, right? Yeah. So, like, even when I was in the penitentiary, I watched out, you remember, so I was in the penitentiary, 97, 98. Uh, 99, ecstasy was a thing, right? So I was listening to Ja Rule, and then when I got out, I was watching certain people on ecstasy to see if it was like crystal meth, crack, heroin, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. type of shit. I did the same thing with Sherm. Joe Bodie was one of them people I watched on Sherm on me to see like his transformation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And to see if who you are, who you ain't high, who you are, who you ain't. Right. I mean, I seen how, okay, naturally he was a gangster, but on Sherm, he 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 would become um um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh he would get mad 
quick fast. Oh, quick temper. Yeah. He would have a yeah. short temper. He would have a short temper. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, that'll add to my gangster rhythm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I already felt I was a bad nigga, man, right? Yeah. But I felt like if I smoked Sherm, uh, uh, it'd make you even more bad. Right, it would make me have a short temper. You know what I'm saying? The way I flash on, nigga, I, I ended up flashing on my mama. I remember my mama told me to bring the groceries in. I said, man, bring the motherfucking groceries in, nigga. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got it from Joe. I got it from Joe Bodie, oh man. He was like, and I seen him flash from one of the homeboys doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. And that's what made me say, okay, I'm gonna try that shit. But only, 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 only mess with it until it brought my case to the forefront. No, Brazy, homie. After hey, that, Brazy I let Steve, it go. Brazy Steve. Brazy Steve. He uh. He was wet, and I didn't know he was wet. And I used to be like, what's up with this nigga, man? So we hit the weed, but and now he like, like he feeling it. You know what I mean? I'm like, why am I feeling the weed like this, nigga? Let me hit this shit again. Nigga, I'm hitting it hard. Now I'm extra high because I'm trying to hit it. So I can start, you know what I mean? I'm looking at Brazy Steve like this nigga feeling now. It's not looking, um, it's looking like he like, yeah. <laughs> 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 this is some music that ain't playing. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So I'm thinking it's the weed. Uh, I'm trying to hit this shit hard, the motherfucker. Now I need to hear the music that ain't play. I need to be like, hmm. <laughs> I, I as a motherfucker. <laughs> so then, Brazy Steve is a general from the set. He lived right across the street for some thugs. <laughs> right, Grandpa was an umpire, baseball. Yeah, <laughs> Come on, homie. Randy man coming through this motherfucker. All these niggas is over here. <laughs> For sure. I'm down the street. That's right across the street from this action. You know what I'm saying? They right there training pigeons and pit bulls. It's gangster shit. Niggas pulling up at low riders, all kind of shit. He probably out the window like, I can't wait to go outside. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? He had twin sisters too, right? He had some sisters that were some twins and some other shit. Plus, they, punk they got relatives that's rips and all that, so he functioned on the other side of town too. So... He got a, uh, uh, the best of both worlds, and that's how he ended up getting wet. Because if you go over there, t the rips is getting more wet than the homies. You sure. know what I'm so, no, it's wet, and uh, uh, we on a brook. So he get pulled over. I forget which homie it was, and they go have a separate conversation away from what we talk about. You know what I'm saying? And you know me up. I'm nosy as a motherfucker. Like. <laughs> okay. What's going on over here, Jack? Let me see what's going on, Jack. So now after separation, we didn't I went to the house, he didn't went to the house. The set is still alive. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> nigga go to the house, get on his bike, nigga go to the park, come back, nigga fuck around here, Palo. You go run into some gangsta shit in between these times. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I need to go to Palo, Granny. You know what I'm saying? Go get some apples and some oranges and things that you told me to do. Yeah, now hurry up and come back. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm riding my bike through the whole brook. Stopping, hitting the joiner too. Palo is the last stop. <laughs> the homies, the big homies is somewhere. Now they doing something that they they ain't supposed to do because they tell me to get the fuck up out of here right now. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here. Nigga, get up out of here. Get up out of here. Nigga, get up out of here. Get up out of here. So I forget which homie it was who knew how to do a backflip over a trash can. Maybe a rest piece, baby. Baby, bug. I mean, uh, Bugs. Rest piece. Bugs Who? Uh, Bugs Malone. Young Bugs. I don't think Young Bugs was doing backflips, blood. Who did the backflips over the damn? Who did, who 
Jojo <laughs> and Stevie did backflips real good. I don't think you're talking about them either, though, but they used to do them hella good. They do a did back a backflip back. over the silver trash can in the parking lot. Uh, Bricky Wild was, was good, too. Bricky Wild was good, too, with that shit. Oh, but uh, I, I, I don't... I, Jeff was Oh, shit. Hey, no, That's you beating? Yeah, my I turned my car on so I can run up the window. The radio came on. Hey, make sure y'all tap, tap in to check out the kite by the Dukes, man. On all platforms, man, that thing is knocking. Sending hundreds to the money counter, doing numbers like it's nothing. What you know about it? It's expensive in my city. I can't go without it. Getting paper is a must, so you know I'm selling. And we hunting on whatever we like. Don't even try it. Personal pilot. To the Told you I called it. They talk about me and all the banks that I walk in and all the cash that I leave with and how I trick it and spend it. Hey, <laughs> you gotta upload it on me. Whatever nigga willing to deal it, it's the hustle with me. Why your boyfriend wanna tussle with me? Cause he mad cause you fucking with me. Hold up. Hold up. If getting to the money is wrong, I gotta do right. Right? Right. And if you get it, put some paper out of spite. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. If you get your paper, burn some money out of spite. Now see, I heard this shit Right, 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 right. <laughs> Right. Uh, right. <laughs> hey, that's it. That shit. I'm trying to tell you. Prove it, homie. Fuck you mean? Uh, no, that's that shit. Hey, look, so. That be knocking, too. Hold on, man. Hey, so. It'd be like, um, I'm trying to change the narrative because when I thought about it, right? I was like, uh, I'm in La Jolla with the Skyline Hoyas. We the dogs hit the mall before we meet the lawyer. Uh, gotta pay to keep them boys in pockets. Like, hey, but look. So, I'm changing the narrative on mixing gangs with having money, right? Because at the end of the day, when we get into an argument with a nigga about being from L.A., they mad because our um, terrain is a little bit more beautiful and they stricken by poverty, right? And so when they hear our music and see our gangsta, they mad that it's like Malibu gangsta. You know what I mean? And that's how they kind of see us to the heart. You feel me? So they don't know about our struggle within this expensive ass city. You feel me? So the identity for who we are by the majority ain't gangster. That's why we always got to put our hands on somebody or go whoop some shit when we in the pen or somewhere. You know, when niggas come out here pressing and then, then they getting ran up off the stage and all that shit just based off of the way a motherfucker or respond to us saying something like, hey, what's up, bro? Where you from? And nigga like, immediately we ready to tear his teeth out his mouth type shit. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, you, just like when we was up there, like, <laughs> okay. You think that... <laughs> If once you think it's ain't what it is, that has nothing to do with what's finna happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we got to prove it so much that it becomes unnecessary to the actual um, goal is to get money and have money and keep it, right? Whether you gangster or not, it don't matter where you're from. So that's why you're hitting licks, pimping, selling dope, doing all that. So to maintain the amount of money to not have to punch in a nine to five. You get me? So you don't have to gang bang to feel the need to get some money you feel me and so in san diego the finest city in america we stricken by south southeast to prove that we are equal or better to all the gangsters in the world but then the majority rules you get me that small percentage don't rule over the stats for other cities that's all black people stricken by actual poverty and then there's no help you feel mm -hmm. me but san diego it's a plethora of races in the community. It's just, they don't know that San Diego is 
Like Skyline is San Diego, California, 92114. You know what I mean? So Lincoln and all that stuff, the Southeast is in actual San Diego uh, uh, zip code. You know, El Cajon, Spring Valley, Chula Vista, all that shit is out, actual outskirts of San Diego type thing. So mm -hmm. city of San Diego and how it's looked upon by the world, ain't nobody believe it. And there's, you know what I mean? There ain't enough black people in that inner, you know? And so when they go to San Diego, Coronado is way more expensive, you know, fucking uh, La Jolla and Del Mar and all that shit. You feel me? So when they come to San Diego, they're not going to a 92114. They're going to Coronado. They're going to La Jolla. They're going here. Del Mar. They're going downtown. They're not, you know, so they're not going actually eastbound. To the inner city. You know what I mean? They ain't really going there.